title. Mm -hmm. This is a requested video. Every time I cook, I be on live and they be like, make a, make this into a YouTube video. But it be too late to make it into a YouTube video because I've been done almost finished preparing the meal. So today that I'm... Um, Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready. So today what I'm whipping up is some curry chicken with some potatoes and some onions and some white rice. That's really it. A simple meal. But most people think it's really rigorous to make curry chicken. And it's not. You just want to make it to where that chicken be falling off the bump. I say the bump. <laughs> but it's not hard to make and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to pre prepare this meal you know i'm gonna cook a lot today honestly because i'm eating my brother's eating my best friend might eat this she's at work right now so i don't know if she's gonna get to get home and you know in time my friend um kalani she wants it for tomorrow before we hit the road i'm pretty sure marlon's gonna want it because he said the first time i cooked it it was really good and then my dog will said to save from a plate of whatever I make. So, you know, I got my dog. So I'm finna whip it up in the kitchen. Right? A little sum sum. So let me um set everything up in the kitchen. Get my ring light set up in the kitchen. And then we're gonna get right into this video. Which way should I go? That way. Or that way. I say that way. Later. Go that way. No, we gonna go that way. Hey. So I have all my seasonings right here. My red potatoes, onion, Uncle Spin's rice, the best white rice you can possibly cook with. All this blood leaking. This big container. Because I said I was making a lot of curry chicken. So my brother bought, I gave him my card. And he brought me back a big thing of chicken. I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy. So we're going to, we're going to turn it this way. Hold on. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is take all these dishes. I'm going to say usually... I'll wash them, but it's not many of them to wash, so I'm not going to wash them. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So we're going to put a little stopper in here. First of all, is this hot water? This hot water ain't even getting cold. I mean... It's hot water not even getting hot. It's cold. What is up with college club? And it's, oh, there you go. I'm talking too much. We finna um, clean the chicken real quick. Alright. Bam. So I'm literally... I don't like when my chicken be having feathers on it. So we're gonna pull the feathers off. See, this is what I'm talking about. They supposed to be pre-cut, and they not. And I didn't wanna have to cut these chickens. I didn't wanna have to cut these chickens, but I have to. So. That's putting me behind time because I thought these was already, they put them in. Pre-cut. I hate having to cut chicken. When I used to cook back home, my sister used to cook the chicken. <laughs> because I used to hate having to split them. And then they, ba they baby chickens, like they small, so. They not. Mm -hmm. I don't like that chicken. That chicken looks a little big. I 
trying to get it. There. But now my little sister told me that that um coronavirus came from them Asian people and them Chinese people eating that damn bat soup. And who the fuck eats bat soup? Like the fuck? Stop eating every fucking thing. They cave divers any fucking ways. Why are y'all eating? They eat some of fucking everything and y'all just eating it, just consuming it. So I'm back. I cut up all the chicken, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I cut up all the chicken and I poured some vinegar already in here, but I'm just pour a little bit more. Vinegar is a great liquid to clean your chicken. Hold on. I usually use um, vinegar and lemon juice to clean my chicken, but I'm not gonna use the lemon today. I don't wanna throw off my seasonings. I'm trying to see something. I feel like I'm missing something. Hold on. I'm letting the water out. Now I'm rinsing the water. Well, rinsing my chicken with some cold water. It's a lot of chicken. A lot. Letting this water out. Stop it back in. We're gonna move the chicken around. I want to show y'all exactly what I'm doing. So let me push my camera down just a tad bit. Let me bring it up so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're gonna get the seasoning on the road. So we're gonna start with some black pepper. So mind y'all, I have a lot of chicken, so I'm gonna be using a lot of seasoning for my, you know, for my. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with some. <coughs> I don't even know how to pronounce this. Like I'd be forgetting. I guess it's called adobo or something like that. Goya. We're gonna just say Goya because. This is what the oregano, this is the seasoning with the oregano in it and the garlic powder because I don't have garlic powder nor oregano. So that's why I use that. And then we're going to go in with some some lemon pepper. My ring lights just went off, but that's okay. We're going to go in with some lemon pepper. And we're going to drop some lemon pepper on that chicken. I'm cooking way more chicken this time than I cooked the first time. So this is going to be we're gonna go in with some meat tenderizer. I don't really, I use a little bit of it, not a lot. Just to like tenderize my chicken, just a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with some Larry's seasoned salt. You know, this is the go to. This and Everglades seasoning, you can use that and you won't even need no more other seasoning. Like for real, for real. But I ran out of Everglades seasoning, so I gotta cop me some more of that. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of paprika because I do want my curry chicken to be a little bit spicy. Just a little bit. So we're gonna go in with some paprika. I like my chicken to be spicy. So then we're gonna go in with some Italian seasoning. This is like parsley and stuff in it. That's really what this is. This is a go-to seasoning. Then we're gonna go in with some Creole seasoning, of course. Yes, sir. That Creole seasoning gonna go for sure. I need to get that slap um slap your mama seasoning because um De'Ara said it's good. And then we're gonna go in with the real Jamaican style curry powder. I don't like you 
using like generic or off brands of curry powder because it don't give it the rich flavor but you guys can use whatever curry powder um you guys prefer but always typically go with the jamaican style curry powder because it tastes better like way better so now we're gonna mix this all up we're gonna mix all this chicken up Woo! we're gonna mix this all up the, the chicken y'all probably like that's not enough curry powder <laughs> trust me i gotta add way more as i'm cooking it you know so don't even we're gonna add a little bit more and then we're going to go into the next step. We're going to go into the next step. Let me mix this one more good time. All right. And the chicken is done. Okay. So we're going to go into the next step. Let me wash my hands again. You want to keep washing your hands. You're dealing with meat. You don't know. I'm trying to get sick in there. You feel me? So we're gonna get right into the next video. Hold on. So we're back and I have my pot right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some vegetable oil in there to stir up a fry. Yes, sir. We're gonna turn this stove on. I need that on that six. And we're gonna sprinkle. Some curry powder in the oil and then once that come to a little fry I'm gonna start dropping my chickens in there but while I wait for that to come to a fry we're gonna go ahead and get right into cutting this onion up in these potatoes okay hold on Like, girl, we still a little small. It, listen, y'all is not gonna die. I don't like the top layer of these onions, honestly. So I peel all that off. Y'all feel like, girl, why is you smelling this onion? I know it's strong. Yeah, it's real strong. This onion is so damn strong. Now listen, if you ain't a pro, don't be trying to look at me and cut at the same time. Watch what you're doing. You want to watch. You want to make sure. You want to make sure you know exactly what you're doing when cutting. You don't want no split hands, split fingers or nothing. Turn this up a little bit. It's starting to heat up. Y'all know me. I cook with onions all the time. I love me some onions. Thanks to my best friend. Because that's all she put me on to cooking. Well, my grandmother cooked with onions and bell peppers. But I don't like onions. But now I'm just starting to eat onions a lot. On like a lot of stuff. Especially when they saute. So. Shout out to her. Because she be eating onions. Literally on everything. And now I like onions. Because of her. Yeah. 
Uh-uh, I'm, um, I was on live. I'm doing a YouTube video now. Well, back to doing it. We're gonna go ahead and drop them onions in there. It's starting to fry up. What tree you said? So the onions are coming to a fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping my chicken in. I'm start dropping the chicken in. Ooh, this is a lot of chicken, y'all. Like for real, for real. Good night. Yes, sir. Here the I'm not watching like what's called my mom. Who? Q and J. So I'm gonna be adding two thirds of water. You can add depending on your pot size. If you don't wanna add it just depends on it. Your pot size. You don't want to add too much. And then I'm going to go back in. We're adding more curry powder. Because of course the water is going to loosen up the curry powder. And I want it to be a little thick. So we're going to add some more curry. Then I'm going to get a spoon. To stir this around real quick. So. This pot is kind of small. I didn't know I had this much of chicken, but it's gonna all break down and stuff. So it may seem like a lot of chicken now, but like I said, we eat good. Like we eat like grown folks over here, like grown men, even the girls, like we eat like a lot, you know? So of course, I want to make enough that I'm so we're gonna put just a dash. In. Literally, this is all you're gonna be adding. Other than your onions that are already in there, we're gonna be adding potatoes, but you wanna add those later in once it starts boiling, boiling because you don't want the potatoes to break up inside the pot. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. That's it. Should be enough. You'll add more as the pot just dissolves the water. And I'm gonna leave my curry right here. And I'm gonna put the rest of my seasonings up. All these seasonings will be down in the description box below. So matter of fact, let me go ahead and write these down in my notes. Before I put these seasonings up, I'm gonna put those in my nerves. So I'm literally just cleaning. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid on this to let that go ahead and boil. We're gonna sum it down to like seven because once it starts boiling, I don't want it to cook too fast. And we're gonna go ahead and 
start with rice. I'm gonna go ahead and start the rice real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and start this one. That's not delicious. Hell man. Yes, sir. Watch that with the kitchen. Right. She. <laughs> I'm gonna cook a lot of rice because. I'm gonna cook a lot because we, bro, we eat like literally this is how much left in the box. Yeah, we eat a lot in here, so I'm gonna cook a lot of rice. I'm gonna have a whole say on the whole day. <laughs> I just put water in this pot with the rice. I'm gonna like mix it around my fingers, make sure your hands are clean. And we're gonna rinse it out because as you guys can see, starch is still in the rice. That's why the rice is foggy. So we're gonna pour a little bit. We're gonna pour this water out and we're gonna put more water in there. And I do this about three times because it'd be a lot of starch in this rice, like a lot. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and put this on six. We're gonna add a little, a little salt. We're gonna add some butter. We're gonna add a little butter. Cause butter make it taste better. Butter make it taste better. To the rice. I actually taught my little sister how to make rice today. She made some pretty delicious rice. It, was, it looks really, it looked really good. So I'm literally going to. I just clean my knife again. We're gonna go ahead and put this up. Put this butter up. We're gonna go ahead and clean this because I done cut the onions up on here. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that real quick. It is. Knock it all on the ground because baby, I'm gonna sweep everything up. We're gonna go ahead and clean this for that boom so you just literally gonna let everything boil i don't really want to touch and mess with anything i'm gonna come back once it starts to boil then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna cut the red potatoes up but for now that's everything and remember all my seasonings will be in the description box below in the steps included just in case you guys are not catching everything you guys can slow up the video as well but i'm still gonna make sure i put the notes and everything down um, in the description box so you guys can prepare this meal exactly how I'm preparing it. So I will get back to you guys once this comes to a boil and the rice comes to a boil, then I'll cut up the red potatoes. So yeah, we'll be back. You can see the chicken has came to a, to a boil. The white rice is basically done. It cooked really fast. And I cut up the um, potatoes off the video cam because I got bored. So now we're just gonna add the potatoes inside the pot. You kind of want to add these last because they don't take long to cook. And once they get softened, you don't want them to break up too much into the chicken. So you just, you want to add them towards the end when you think your chicken is almost done. And that's what you're going to do. And then I'm literally just going to dig it in, you know, mix it around. You see them onions? Woo! Them onions, baby. Okay. We're gonna mix this around. We're gonna put some chicken on top. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna dazzle it up real quick. And then, boom. We're gonna let this get back to that boil. We're gonna put the lid back on. And boom. We're gonna let that cook. And then, let's see how this rice doing. You wanna make sure your rice is buttery. 
this rice looks amazing it's so thick and oh look at it look how light oh oh that rice looks good and i cooked that on six then eight so we're gonna put that down to a low because it's basically done but you want to keep it warm and then we're gonna just let this cook and i don't even need any more right um water so i can pour this out no more food. and then this is the famous seasoning i used so once we're done i'll get back to you guys and show you exactly what it looks like okay, so the chicken is done hold on and this is how you're gonna do the chicken check let me show y'all so this is basically what you do you just rub the spoon up against the chicken and if the skin falling off boom and then for the potatoes you just sit it soft like that that's how you know that it is done and y'all knew the rice was done you okay and that is the end of this video hold on i'm gonna turn my camera this way hold on you guys is the end of this video which means it is check out time so you guys know what to do like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when i do anything on my channel on the road to 200 subscribers thank you guys again for getting me to 100 yes sir, yes, sir. so now we're on the um on our little journey to 200 and then a thousand you did so Y'all know what to do. Stay self-made and not self-made. Bless beyond measures. Self-love. Peace. Bye, guys.